How important was the event? Frank Gardner at Scrutineering. Things everybody knows that there's nothing that racing won't teach that you can't learn in a production car. But at least an event like this brings it five years ahead of its time. You find you've got various things that you have to do and, and this rally will itemise all these things. John Davenport felt the tour would boost the image of the family car. I think it's the most important thing that's happened in the last 10 years because we have so much blurring of the car's image in front of the public by allowing people to tune and prepare too much that I think this is a very, very good thing that you have an event of this size run in the middle of the summer when there's lots of people out looking that is for literally, almost literally, standard cars. Rallyman Tony Four was leading the Datsun trio. Graham Hill had had a bad start. Yeah, I got a bad start, and uh, and it's very slippery out there. And of course, you, what you don't want to do is get involved in someone else's shunt. You've got to have about six pairs of eyes. But it's a very, very tricky piece here at Devil's Elbow because it goes off some new surface, which has got fairly good grip onto a very, a very old piece of surface, which is slippery as nails not. And the moment you hit it, of course, you were just right out of control. Tony Fall cheerfully showing his teammates the way round. The rivalry between rallymen and racing drivers was to sharpen the edge of a keenly fought tour. But the chances of the Class B contenders were blunted by the Welsh rain, which singled them out for this treacherous treatment. It was a handicap from which they never recovered, as the final results show. But at least it gave Graham Hill a chance to try his hand at Rallycross as the race drew to a close and the crews headed thankfully for the sunshine of stately Doddington.